Films and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the zoom transition. Now, this video was suggested and they said they wanted to see a zoom transition tutorial, so I thought I would do it. Now, before I begin, I just want to say personally, I think the zoom transition is really overused as tons of YouTubers do it now for all their travel videos, so if you to be original, don't do it. However, I do see the health benefits of it for telling a story for moving from one place to the next. And anyway, yeah, so let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so once you have your two clips on the timeline, you're first going to select the first clip and make that into a composite shot. Once it is a composite shot, you need to go five frames from the end. Now to use the keyframes, you can press control and then the arrow key. So you're just going to do five of those. Once you're five keyframes from the end, you're going to get the slicing tool and slice that there. You're now going to click on the newly five frame long little clip and put a keyframe key on the first frame and make sure the scale of that is 100%. Now you're going to go to the last keyframe and put the scale to something about 300 400%. It's not exact, just do what looks good for your movie. Once you've done that, you'll now notice it's just got a bit of a zooming in video, which doesn't look too good. What we need to now add is a zoom blur. Now what a zoom blur does is it kind of replicates the effect of something like zooming in when you zoom in and a quick zoom in and then there's a blur. So we're going to add that onto the timeline. Now we need to make sure at the start of that it is at zero and at the end we're going to keyframe that also so now it is 100. So now you see you've got this kind of zooming in and it zooms into a really zoomed in blur. Once we've done the first shot we can go back out into our editor and go to the second shot that we want to do the zoom in bit. Now on this composite shot, we're going to go five frames from the start this time. So we're going to press control and then use the arrows to just skip five frames forward. We are now going to also cut that. Now that new short clip that we've got, we're going to make sure that the start of that, the scale is about 400% and then add a keyframe. Now we're going to go to the last frame in that clip and make sure the scale is 100%, which is normal. Now you notice it just zooms out rather quickly. Now in the little short clip, we're going to add a zoom blur. Now this zoom blur, we're going to need it to be minus 100 at the start and make a keyframe. And then we're going to go to the end of that first little clip and make it zero. Now you notice we have our zoom blur, so now what's left to do is render it out. So there we go, you have now got your very own Sam Calder inspired zoom blur. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, comment down below what the tutorial you want to see. And until next time, bye!